everybody. It is Sunday. I may or may not have been out playing yesterday. Um, maybe had a little bit of cocktails. So um, I am starving and it's Sunday morning. I'm supposed to be going to a graduation party. Congratulations to Riley Barber, class of 2021, Rochester High School. One of my kids that I coached um, in volleyball and she invited um, Lisa and I to the grad party. So we're going there, but I need to eat something because I can't drink um, and not eat. It really messes with me. So uh, I have the June snack crate. And so why this is a snack battle is we're going to see what is the best snack in this box. And if you saw by the intro, I did cut the tape already. And I looked and when you open the box, this is what you see. So we have Spain this month, Spain. Um, part of the reason I think it's a snack battle is because I did choose between Universal Yums and Snack Crate. You can see here, it's got the fun facts that opens up. The graphics on these boxes are so much better uh, than Universal Yums. Uh, I know Universal Yums has the little uh, booklet and everything, but eh. Uh, I've, I've liked the snacks better in here. So we're going to see which snack out of, from Spain is the best. Uh, I did downgrade just because I didn't really like the drink the last time. And um, so I downgraded not to include the drink. but um, So I got the mini crate, if you will. And in the mini, we have a couple of different things. So these two, the two on the top actually kind of go together. I'm very interested. Um, before I taste anything else, I'm going to try these first. So these are El Valle Huevo Frito. These uniquely flavored savory chips have an uncanny resemblance to an actual fried egg. You might have just found a perfect breakfast substitute. Now, here's the funny thing is I just ordered mini bags of salted egg potato chips so that um, I can send them out to people. We can try them. So I'm actually going to be, these are fried egg. The other ones are salted egg. I don't know if there's going to be a difference there or not, but... They don't smell eggy, which is a good thing. That's what I was concerned about. Is it is it going to smell like rotten fart eggs? Okay, so just regular looking chips here. And sorry I'm sitting sideways. I have another video that I got to record right after this one. Um, so happy birthday to Welsh Dragon Hunter as well, because I'm uh, taking on his alphabet challenge. All right, cheers. Holy crap. They taste like a fried egg, you guys. I mean, if you don't like fried eggs, if you're not a breakfast person, you won't like that. And when I say, you know, like what I'm talking about with eggs, you get like that farty kind of smell, if you will. Um, but it tastes like that fried egg. Like, you can totally see it. But I want to open the other ones as well because these kind of go with it. These are Ruffles. I think it's Jamon. A national favorite in Spain, these wavy potato chips feature the salty and savory flavor of the revered Spanish ham. Now, I've had a couple of different Spanish hams. They're really good. They're great on charcuterie plates. And they smell just like ham, which is crazy. Okay, typical. Looks just like a regular Ruffles. Mmm. I wish I would have had this for the Battle Porky because these taste just like ham. Like the salty, the smoky, the meatiness of it. Let's just try to find a chip that's kind of similar inside. All right, so this is what I was thinking is kind of like your ham and eggs right here, kids. Very good. Putting the two together is crazy. Um, well done, Snack Crate. I mean, these really do. Very savory. You get the meatiness of it, of the ham. And then if you mash it up with one of those egg chips, it's kind of like having breakfast in a potato chip. Good thing for hangovers, which I may or may not have. And yes, because my... Funkos are all in disarray right now because there's 26 of them stacked here. Hmm. Okay. What do we have that's sweet? Well, this is cereal, so we'll stick with the breakfast thing. These are not actually cereal. <clears throat> These are Galetas con cerealis. 
If I, I'm sorry if I'm slandering this, you guys. Uh, delicious biscuits made with crunchy cereal and bits of blueberries semi-coated in smooth white chocolate. Yes, please. Love white chocolate. I love blueberries. Love cereal. Let's see if I can get it. They're kind of stuck together. It was like 86 degrees here yesterday, and uh, I wasn't home when this arrived. These are good. Lots of blueberry. They're crispy, or not like that hard crunchy. Um, it tastes like a blueberry muffin, if you will, with the drizzle on it, the white chocolate. I will be eating this entire bag, no doubt. Let me show you that. These are delicious. Well done. Snack crate, I, I, you make me have belief that I picked the right one. Mmm. I have to eat another one of those. I'm going to eat this whole whole bag. I also have to do something foxy, so I'm going to do that. Okay, let's go back to savory here. Balance out the sweet. Maybe not. Maybe we'll do something else sweet. Oh, i got three more sweet things in here. All right, we'll do the candies next. These are picotas. It says these bright red candies feature a crunchy, sugary outer layer with a soft gummy center bursting with cherry flavor. And I have a bunch of these, so maybe I'll save some and, and ship some out in a box. So it's like all coated in what it looks like sugar. It's the diamond edition of candy. It's like that faux cherry flavor. Not bad at all. Um, they're a good little candy. They, they sent like, I still have five of these. I'm gonna eat one more and then four of them will go out in boxes to people. Um, They're not exactly like a gumdrop. It's a little bit harder. The shell is on it. I don't know what exactly to equate these to. Kind of like a gumdrop because you got that sugar coating and then the gummy middle. The inside is a little bit softer than it than a gumdrop though. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Next up we have Feeny Roller. Okay, so this is, <clears throat> with claims to be the longest candy belt thrown, this fruity roll-up will take your taste buds on a tart trip with this intense sour flavor. And this one is strawberry. So this is like fruit by the foot, I think. It's crumbly, though. Let's see if I can get it out of the package. But it is like fruit by the foot, and it's coated in sugar. I don't know if you can hear the sugar, but it's falling. Let's try this. Mmm. There's the sour. That gets you a little bit, kids, but this is delicious. Like, this is all stuff, like, I would order as a snack um, or pick up at a grocery store if they had this kind of stuff. Now, it's interesting because there's, like, you probably can't see it on the camera because of the sugar, but um, there's, like, lines in it. I don't know if you can see it. And so it's easy to tear this way. Kind of like string cheese. And when you pop it in your mouth, it's very sweet. And when as you start to chew, then the sour hits you. Oh, a little bit. Just a little bit. This will raise my blood sugar up. I'll finish that as well. All right. Let's go back to savory, and then I have something chocolate covered in there, which I saved the chocolate for last. All right, what are these? These are Zispazos Electrico. 
These little star-shaped crunchy corn snacks may be small, but they pack a spicy, cheesy flavoring that is shockingly delicious. So these kind of look like star-shaped goldfish, maybe? Like that kind of a cracker? Yeah, I just used my teeth. Whatever. I don't know if there's anything. I wonder if... Hey, Finny. You want to try an egg chip? That way. I'm trying to find a little one. You eat this? She ate it. Oh, maybe not. All right, let's throw her. Want a ham one too? You have your breakfast too? Nope, nope. Not, not eating that one. <laughs> All right, she didn't eat that one. All right, let's back to the, our little cheese, spicy cheese. Oh, she did just eat it. But apparently she just didn't want to be put on the spot. All right, so these are cute. They're like bite-sized little, little stars here. Very crunchy, almost like like they like, kind of like want to. Ooh, there's some spice. Kind of want to tear up your mouth like a Captain Crunch or something. In fact, like the after flavor, like once you get through the coating, is like almost like a Captain Crunch. And these aren't sweet; they're savory. Not so much getting the cheese. But there is like a spicy like pepper, chili flavor, something like that. They're good. They're very good. I have I have liked everything in here so far. I haven't gotten I don't know right here. It's like a URL or whatever that thing is. Or you can scan it and get music. I haven't been able to do that yet. It won't work for me for whatever reason. Mm. These are good. The problem is my house is starting to fill up with snacks because I like taste test and I don't eat them all. Mm. Okay. Final snack in the box, kids. Val Toron Vienna. Layers of crunchy waffle sandwiched together with creamy nougat, then dipped in rich chocolate to make an unmistakable flavor. I'm wondering if this is all going to be melted and ugly. And if it is, it's not Snack Crate's fault. It's my fault. I left it on the porch uh, while I was gone. So we're going to try that. <clears throat> there were other things that you could get if you get the original box. So you bump it up. Um, maybe I'll do that next month. I don't know. Um, you could have gotten a... Dolce Sol Palmeras, a crunchy puff pastry topped with a deliciously sweet sugar glaze. Try one with, with Cafe Con Leche. Bocaditos Limon, tasty sugar cookies sandwiched with a zesty lemon flavored cream. Uh, Ambriosas Tirma, crispy flaky wafers layered with cream and covered in a thick luscious coating of white chocolate. Spicy mangoes, mango flavored gummies combined with just the right amount of fruity sweet sweetness with a surprising kick of heat. And Fina Ladrillos. Chewy and strawberry gummies coated in sour sugar and filled with a mild sweet cream throughout their brick-shaped center. So, I guess I'm, that's the only one. That I, it would be a duplicate. I guess you did a sour strawberry with the the tape. Maybe find something else, a different flavor. I'll show you guys the inside of the box in just a second. But we're going to try this now. It didn't melt. I got lucky. It has like a hint of like orange or lemon or something like a, there's a citrus background to it. Hmm. Good. Hmm. Very good. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six different things here that we got to try. Very happy with snack rate. Let me show you guys the inside of the box. 
So if you didn't get something, you can order more. And I would, but I also, I'm going to try uh, Amazon because of the fact that I've been able to find things like the honey butter chips that Fox did. I bought those too. So those will be going out in snack crates as prizes for people. I'm trying to like get stuff together. I have some Michigan products that I've, I've purchased that are, that can go in there. So you get a little bit of everything. Careful thing. <clears throat> um, all right. Number one by far out of this crate is the blueberry cookies. These were delicious. I love these. Need another one. Number two would be the ham chips. Number three would be the sour tape. Mm, no seven. We got seven things. Um, number four would be these cheesy crackers. Number five would be this. Number six would be the gummy candies, and in seventh is the egg chips. Not that there's anything necessarily wrong with them. Um, they're good. I mean, I'm not kidding. They are good, especially if you like eggs. If you're a breakfast person you like eggs, these are good. They don't have, like, the, the flavor of, like, scrambled eggs. It's, it's different. It does taste like a fried egg. Hard to explain and, like, put into words, but um, that would just be if I had to rank them and how much I like them out of, out of each one of these boxes or each one of these snacks. So, um Excellent. Well done, Snack Crate. Spain was great. I can't wait to see what happens next month. I may upgrade to the next one. Next size up, I think you get 10 to 12 maybe snacks in that. Um, so I might do that. I might do that. So what do we have coming up? Yeah, well, if I can get my crap together, then um, my mom and I are going to be doing a bacon and brown butter episode on Tuesday night. If I can't, I got to figure something out. Um, today, I think think at two or three o'clock I will be on Sassy Cajun's channel yeah so I'm going to a graduation party and I'm probably going to eat food there and then I'm supposed to be doing a cheeseburger challenge so um when you guys I'm just giving you a little hint if you actually watch this and watch the whole thing give me a hint don't vote for me in a cheeseburger challenge because there's no way um but I might have Lisa with me so and then uh, at 4 o'clock Eastern Dead Zone Citizen I will try and put the link to his video down below is doing an awesome, massive giveaway wheel, big giant wheel. There's all kinds of ways to enter, guys. And one of them is by watching one of the other videos on my channel. Um, so you need to go visit Dead Zone. Make sure that you like, subscribe, watch that video on the giveaway. And then all the links for the other channels and how you can win are listed in there. So um, please give him some love. And whoever wins the prize off my channel will also get a Geek Me Seats t-shirt of your size and color choice. So um, there's a bonus there, uh, If but you have to be subscribed, guys. I will check. Uh, so I had a couple of people enter his giveaway and they haven't subscribed. Um, that's what it's all about, guys. It's kind of growing channels and being supportive. So um, please go like, subscribe, Dead Zone. Check us out on, on Sassy's channel, Sassy Cajun's channel. I think that's at, I think it's at two, two o'clock, two o'clock Eastern. Um, we will be doing the, the cheeseburger challenge. Don't vote for me. Um, and yeah, uh, that's what I got coming up guys. So, oh, and, and again, happy birthday to Welsh Dragon Hunter. I'm going to do your alphabet challenge next. I'm going to record that real quick. And then I got to redo this hair when I go to this party. All right, guys, enjoy your Sunday. I'll see you this afternoon. Love you guys. Have a great one.